that is 22 by 7. So I will try to illustrate how that value came through this model. So all you can see, as you can see, that there is a circle and there is a square consisting of four more smaller squares. You can see there. So though you can see here there are sides marked as R, 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 R. And so from that you can understand that the side, the length of this side, each single square, small square, is equal to the radius of the circle. Okay. So what we observe here is this sand inside this model. So let me first rotate it here. The sand completely fills the circle. Is clear to them? So what we are trying to illustrate here is that the sand is covering the whole area of the circle. Okay. What is the area of the circle? Pi r square. So if we take a side of a single square to be r, what will be the area of a single square here? R square. It will be r square. Okay. Clear? So we take here three squares here, small squares. Okay, 3 squares and 1 by 7th of the 4th square. Else all, 6 by 7th of the 4th square is completely filled inside in a solid body. So it will not, the sand will not go there. So what we are here observing is that there are 3 complete squares and 1 by 7th of the 4th square. So try to understand, 7 times 3 is 21 and plus 1 is 22. So here we get 22 by 7 parts of a square which has a radius r, which has a side r which is equal to the radius of the circle. So when I rotate this model like this, fully 180 degree, the whole sand of the circle comes in the section of the square and it covers it fully also. So from here we get the idea that the area of a circle is 22 by 7 times of area of this square. So this was the model students. Thank you.